the classic way in which um, hidden Markov models are, um, are explained is by looking at three specific problems. The first one is the marginal probability, and this is that I observe some sequence, x1 to t, and I want to know what is the probability of that sequence given my current um, hidden Markov model. Okay, that hidden Markov model is, um, the parameters is theta. That's the a and the phi combined, it's just theta. Okay. The second problem is that if I give you an observed sequence, like words, and I give you the hidden Markov model, so you have all the probabilities, you've got the, the a and the, the phi, give you all of that, and I give you a sequence and I ask, what is the best way to go through my state diagram? What's the optimal sequence of states to get the highest probability for that observed um, sentence? So given that I've observed that sentence, what is the largest probability according to that model for my state sequence? It's the best way to get through my graph. That's problem two. And then problem three, I don't give you the A's and the phi's. In other words, I don't give you the parameters of the model. Okay, the A's and the phi's. Instead, what I do is I give you a large training set of previous observations, and now you need to figure out the a's and the phi's. Okay, and that can get quite tricky because notice here I don't actually give you the z's, I don't give you the states, I only give you the sequence, and I ask you just from observing sequences, figure out the a's and the phi's. Okay, everyone with me. A short comment, um, you just need to know that whenever I write a P in this, in this little note, uh, when I write a P here, it depends on the current parameters of the model. Okay, So I put theta there to explicitly tell you this is this particular hidden Markov model. But sometimes, like many machine learning people, I'm lazy and sloppy, and then I forget to write the theta there. But you should just remember it's the probability of, for example, a sequence given my current parameters of, of the model. Three problems, you've got them. I'm going to do it in a different order from the kind of the classic way. So the classic way is to go one, two, three, which is makes sense, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow your order, okay? I'm going to follow the order where we first look at problem two. I give you a hidden Markov model with all the parameters and I ask you find the optimal state sequence third. And then I'm going to look at problem one and then at problem three. Because if you understand problems two, then solving problem one and three becomes e systematically easier.